Hello, thought it was time for a quick update on our January, February and March seedlings. I've picked a, a lovely day for it. Okay, so I thought now might be a good time to have a look at where we are with the seeds we've sown over the last three months. So it's now sort of second week of March and these are the sweet peas that I sowed uh, right at the beginning of the year. And as you can see now, they've got three sets of leaves. So what we need to do is pinch those out to um, encourage them to grow and be, be more bushy, create more stems. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this off here between at the top of the second set of leaves. I just use a pair of, sort of small sharp scissors. So we're just going to snip that there. It always feels a bit harsh, but that will definitely help it help sweet pea to grow better and as I say to create more stems. Um, about 10 days ago now I pricked out the Gadisha and that's looking good. I think we're going to have um, a lot of flowers from the Gadisha. And then also the Gypsophila which was very small at the time. I picked that out again about 10 days ago and they're doing really nicely. They're getting very strong now so I'm pleased with those. The delphiniums, which were planted a week later, um, a bit of a mixed success there. They're not the easiest thing to grow. Out of the 24 I planted here, I think I've probably got 11 or 12 that I'll be able to do something with. So it's enough, enough for my patch. I'm not going to pick those out yet because they've still only got two sets of leaves, but I'm going to keep an eye on those. Then the fifth seed from January was the Cleome and as I've probably said before that hasn't worked for me at all so I'm just about to sow some more Cleome so we can keep sowing for a while yet we don't have to worry if things haven't worked there's always um, there's usually another chance to have another go at it. Okay so on to our February seeds and again I sowed these right at the beginning of the month some of you have probably sown them at a slightly different time maybe a little bit later but it gives you an idea of, of where we are in terms of number number of weeks so as I say it's sort of the second week of March and I uh, sowed these on the 1st of February so firstly um, our Achillea which is here they're still I've actually picked those out now they were very very tiny when I picked them out and they're always quite delicate and a little bit fiddly and you sort of worry that they're not going to recover but um, I did these only a couple of days ago and they're looking absolutely fine so I think they will be okay. They they are in nine centimetre pots. If you have smaller pots you could always uh, pick them out into smaller pots because they are relatively quite big for the size of the size of the seedling. The dahlias here, they've all done really well. Um, here we go. They're looking good. They're just they, they, they started off very quickly and then they slowed down a bit so I thought I would pick them out sooner than I have done but they're just about to get their first two true leaves you can see just coming through in the middle so I'm going to be picking those out soon probably this weekend actually and they're doing well um, our asters again doing well they're just starting to get their first two true leaves in the centre so again I'll be picking those out into nine centimetre pots too. Rubecchia is a little bit slower they're still very small and very close to the close to the compost so I'm not going to do anything with those for a while. I'm um, just a general note I am finding things are drying out quite quickly at the moment because there's been a fair bit of sunshine so you do need to keep these moist you don't want to it applies to everything we don't want to drench them but we do need to keep the compost moist about getting the right level of moisture not too much and not too little which is a little bit difficult to quantify isn't it and then the um ageratum they're tiny just these little ones here they look fine i think i've sewn them too close together actually but i think i'll have at least a dozen i can work with but i'm not going to do anything with those yet i'm going to wait for them to grow a bit and get their first two true sets of leaves so that's all our february sewing and then finally for today, the seeds we sowed in March. Again, I sowed these right at the beginning of the month, so a couple of weeks ago now. Um, the sunflower, they came through really quickly, so I brought those out into the greenhouse as soon as they started to germinate. 
The slugs do love a sunflower actually. So this one is a casualty, I think, of a slug. I need to, I do, um, I do do pesticide free. I try and practice pesticide free gardening, which is quite difficult at times like this. But it does mean I don't put down anything like slug killer. So I'm going to have to be a bit more careful with these and maybe put them in a tray or something just to try and deter the slugs from getting to them actually but but with, there's plenty of sunflower seeds in your kit so I'm going to sow a few extra just to be on the safe side but I'm going to try and um, be a bit more careful with those and actually the same thing applies to the cornflower which is as I said before my nemesis they're all looking lovely and now I've just got one left and there was a nice little slug trail on top of these the other day so again, you've got plenty in your kit. I'm going to have another go at sewing those and being a bit more careful with them and keeping keeping an eye on them. The cosmos, which is here, is doing fine, but that hasn't yet got its two true leaves. So um, I'm going to leave those as they are for a bit. Again, just water them every so often when they're starting to look like the compost is drying out a bit. And then the zinnia, again, that's something has eaten up. I'm not sure if that's a slug. It was all coming up quite nicely. I don't know if you can see, but we've just got that something's eaten, eaten the leaves off the top of here. So I've sown a few more zinnia and I'm going to be a bit more vigilant with those as well. I think I've had a bad couple of weeks actually. And then finally, um, the Breeza Maxima. I'd read that this takes about three weeks to germinate, but mine was came up within two weeks. That's looking good. It's funny when you sow those, are those little husks and you can't believe there's any life in them and there they are coming through. So I'm pleased with those. So that's where I am with my seeds. I hope everything's going well for you and do drop me a line if you need any information or have any feedback and uh, I'll see you soon.